The second video in our list, now we're looking at the top 37 WrestleManias of all time, ranking them from worst to best. Remember to press subscribe and like the video, and if we feel that we've done a good job or got it completely wrong, just let me know in the comments below. So next up, we have number 36, which is WrestleMania 27. Uh, on, once again, on paper, really decent card in Atlanta, Georgia, in the Georgia Dome in front of 71,000 people. What could possibly go wrong? Commentary team of Michael Cole, Jerry Lawler, Josh Matthews, Jim Ross and Booker T just throughout the show. With the host of the show being The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, the man himself. Um, and we started off the show with Dwayne Johnson coming out and casting a really good promo to get the crowd up and ready. Ended with his good old fashioned catchphrase uh, and had every catchphrase he's ever done in his career just smashed into this like some sort of rock sausage. Edge versus Alberto Del Rio was up first for the world title. Alberto Del Rio had won the Rumble from that year, the 40-man Rumble, and Edge came out on top on this one. And not only did Edge win the match, he also decided to smash up Alberto Del Rio's car with his little friend Christian. Edge's last match for a good number of years until we saw him return at the 2020 Rumble. Cody vs Rey Mysterio also put on a very good match. Gives a lot of time to work in this one, so yeah, it's very good to see. Cody was off the handsome gimmick and on the disfigured Cody Rhodes gimmick. Then from the good to the not so good, so Big Show, Kane, Kofi Kingston and Santino beat up the core, which then buried the core. I don't think we saw them much after that, uh, so thanks for that, guys. Randy Orton beat CM Punk in a good match, which was a very good finish. CM Punk jumps in straight into an RKO. And then to continue the good match, bad match, good match, bad match routine, Michael Cole versus Jerry Lawler in a very bad match, which saw uh, Michael Jerry Lawler win, but Michael Cole getting the victory as the decision was overturned for some reason. Take it versus Triple H, which was always going to be a good show. Ten years on since their previous match at WrestleMania 17, and uh, yeah, the second in the trilogy between these two. So once again, Take it versus Triple H, always put a good show, unlike the team of Trish, Snooki and John Morrison, who picked up a victory against Dolph Ziggler, Lay Cool uh, with Vicky Guerrero. Then it's the main event of the evening with The Miz versus John Cena in a standard wrestling match until The Miz got himself knocked out and uh, there was no DQ stipulation added by The Rock who overturned the anonymous GM, remember him? Uh, the Rock then rock bottoms John Cena for The Miz to then pick up the victory and close the show just as everyone wanted to happen, uh, which then set up The Rock versus John Cena for the year after. There we have it, a very up and down card, with the ups not being that up, but the downs being very, very down. Um, it just seemed like a setup for us near 28, uh, with matches for celebrity involvement as well as Michael Cole wrestling on the card, is why it's number 36 on the top 37 WrestleManias of all time.